Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone, please like me introduce my name. My name is Nayida Fitriana Lagiba and my partner is Aulia Ramadhani. We are students at State Islamic Senior High School One City. In this special occasion, we are going to present our research entitled The Effectiveness of Microalgae Nanoclorops Oculata as a Bioremediation Agent for Organic Quality and Liquid Dust of Sugar Factory. So, let's get down to our business. Sugar production in Indonesia in 2022 increased by 2.5 tons per year. The sugar industry produces wastewater with a high level of pollutant load because it contains various kinds of hazardous substances that are wasted during the production process. When this organic material is discharged into the water, the amount of oxygen dissolved in the water decreases and will be utilized by aerobic bacteria to decompose the organic matter. As a result, fish and other aquatic organisms die because the amount of dissolved oxygen is depleted. Bioremediation is one way to overcome the problem of pollution by using microorganisms. The use of microorganisms and living organisms in bioremediation aims to degrade environmental contamination into the non-toxic form. The purpose of this research is to reduce the level of turbidity and pollutant level in the wastewater of a sugar factory using the microalgae nanochloropsis oculata bioremediation. This research was conducted at Chipara Breakis Water Aquaculture Fishery Center on December 2022 to February 2023. The tools used in this research are beakers, pH meter, diometer, and aeration hose. While the material needed in this research include microalgae nanochloropsis oculata, sugar factory wastewater, and seawater. There were five treatments in this research, namely the ratio of microalgae and liquid sugar waste in milliliters, P0, 0 to 1000, P1, 300 to 1000, P2, 300 to 800, P3, 300 to 600, P4, 300 to 400, and P5, 300 to 200. The research procedures of this research Taking sugar liquid waste sample Sterilizing the tools to be used for bioremediation. Taking sample of the microalgae nanoclorops oculata. Measuring the density of nanoclorops oculata microalgae cell using a microscope. Microalgae were inoculated into wastewater and left for 16 days with aeration. The next is result and discussion. The first is turbidity level. Based on figure 4.1, it is now that score of turbidity liquid sugar waste decreased after the addition of microalgae nanochloropsis oculata. Percentage significant decrease reaching an average of 94.15% proved that nanochloropsis oculata has ability to lower the rate of turbidity. Second, the total value of biological oxygen demand. Based on figure 4.2, the OD value in the liquid sugar waste before addition nanochloropsis oculata was 378 mg per liter. The result after addition produced a BUD reduction by 8% to 64%. Based on figure 4.3, it is known that the COD level in the liquid sugar waste before addition of nanochloropsis oculata was 354 mg per liter and then decreased by 7.48% to 64%. 0.7% after addition of nanochloropsis oculata with sugar liquid waste. The fourth is the total suspended solid test. Based on figure 4.4, the total suspended solid level before treatment was 5 mg per liter, and after inoculation with nanochloropsis oculata for 16 days was capable to reduce TSS. The fifth is the total phosphate test. Based on figure 4.5, the percentage decrease in P4 and P5 treatments. The decrease in phosphate level was due to the microalgae nanochloropsis oculata utilizing phosphate for the cell growth. 6. The total salinity, pH, and temperature. Salinity, pH, and temperature are important parameters affecting the life and growth of aquatic organisms directly or indirectly. Based on figure 4.6, the greater the volume of sugar waste used is the lower the salinity. Based on figure 4.7, the pH value in each treatment is 6 to 8. Based on figure 4.8, the temperature is above 26 to 33 Celsius. 7. Based on figure 4.9, the P1 and P2 treatments decrease the total cell density. 
The eighth is the determination of quality index of sugar liquid waste using pollution index method based on figure 4.10. It is known that the P1 and P2 treatment had IP value below 1 which can be interpreted that the P1 and P2 treatment met the quality standard of sugar liquid rice in Central Java number 5 of 2012. The next is conclusion and situation. The conclusion of this research is by remediation using the microalgae nanochlorus oculata which is able to reduce pollutant level in the liquid sugar waste. This result indicated that the P1 and P2 treatment were in accordance with predetermined quality standard. The suggestion of this research is to carry out a longer acclimation to the microalgae nanochloropsis oculata so that it can adapt to environmental media. That's all the presentation from us. Thanks for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.